So David went off to uh, university and uh, he was pretty busy the first couple of years and um, then uh, every once in a while he would mention a girl's name and and I would ask about her a few months later and he would say, oh, that was the September girlfriend. And, and, and then... <laughs> so he graduated and he moved to Toronto to start a career with CIBC and after about six months, uh, he mentioned he met this really cool young woman <coughs> at a party and uh, Oh, she, could, she ran in marathons and triathlons, and oh, she was a really good golfer. And I thought, oh, it sounds like he's getting serious about this gal. And uh, so finally, David brought Liz uh, to the farm to meet us. And here was this uh, lovely, charming, intelligent woman who, as everyone has mentioned, can um, outrun and outswim David. <laughs> and, <laughs> After they left um, that weekend, David, or Jim and I looked at each other and we said, David's found his queen. And so um, throughout uh, David's formative years, he's been very lucky to have some uh, wonderful mentors and coaches. But I think um, two of his very most influential were his ponies, Bonnie and Sierra. <laughs> <laughs> and those naughty ponies, they bucked him off, they ran away with him, they embarrassed him publicly, but they taught him some really uh, good life lessons, and uh, that was uh, to have a strategic plan to persevere, to have courage, and when all else fails, just hang on and go for the ride. And David, we're so proud of you, and we're so happy that you found Liz, and we wish you a long and happy marriage.